Hey, what's up, Miami? How are you? It's Manny Garavito. I'm going live once again. It's time to record a new podcast. I figured I'd do this right on the fly. Nothing fancy. No preparation whatsoever. Just straight into it. We're going to figure out what are some of the best things to do in Miami during the summer. I got one right off the bat. Leave Miami. Go to another city and enjoy the cooler weather elsewhere. Here in Miami, one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to get really hot or it's going to get very wet. That's it. It's a coin toss. So your best bet is go somewhere where the temperatures are cooler and experience what it's like to have nothing but clear blue skies. Because Miami likes to show off that we have great weather all year round. The secret is not during the summer. It's way too humid out there. It's way too hot. It's, it's the bad combination. It's very steamy. Wait, didn't another big thing happen? Didn't everybody get their loans forgiven these past few days? I've had some friends telling me that their loans have been forgiven. What do you mean forgiven? Oh, they dropped it. What? So you're telling me that I had to work hard to pay off my loans, pay off my tuition, make sure I went to zero like an upstanding citizen financially responsible. I paid off all my student debt. All I had to do was wait 10 more years. That's the real investment. Hang in there. Don't pay those loans. You never know. Some president might come around and might drop them all for you. Taking a loan is a risk. Not paying it is a risk. And waiting for someone else to pay it for you is another risk. It's a win-win-win if you're patient enough. <laughs> I can't believe it. The student loan debt's being paid off. That's the 2008 opportunity right there. I keep missing out on all of them. Incredible. I missed out on the affordable homes, and I missed out on holding off paying my student debt. That was the big opportunity right there. 2008 was for homes, and 2024 was for students. God damn it. I missed both opportunities. It's a damn shame. Congratulations. Do you know the kind of opportunity you have right now? That you had one big debt looming over you and it just gets paid off. You know what? I'm not going to pay off my credit card debt. I'm just going to hold off and see what happens. Maybe, you know, a couple of presidents from now, someone's going to be like, there's a lot of people out there that like eating out. You want your fancy dinners. You're out there, you know, buying everybody shots. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop all credit card debt. You're like, oh shit, my time has finally come. My credit score was shot down to 200. But I held in there, hoping that a leader would come around and pay off my irresponsibility when it comes to going out to eat. I go out and I, I go to Sexy Fish. And I get two little pieces of fish for $80. That's what I do. That's my problem. Hey, that's another thing to do during the summer in Miami. You go out and you just start treating yourself nice because... It's not season right now. People of Miami, all the venue owners, restaurants, and people in hospitality know that this isn't the busy season for us. Why? Because everybody is leaving Miami to go elsewhere. So there's going to be lots of specials going on. Lots of empty space. And keep your eyes peeled for something that's very affordable and very luxurious at the same time. Whether it be happy hours, whether it be lunch specials. Hell, maybe if you join some sort of dinner rewards membership, they might hook you up. So make sure you sign up to all the email lists and all your favorite restaurants because summer is around the corner. And believe me, they're going to feel it like they do every single year. Remember the almanac from Back to the Future 2 and that's how Biff got all his money? What you should do is make a Back to the Future and what you do is you go back in time and you invest money in all those big opportunities that everybody had. Go back to college and you go hard. I'm not talking about getting a bachelor's degree. You go hard. You, go over, you study overseas, and you get a, a local American student loan, and you go travel, and you go into dorm rooms. You start banging a bunch of European bitches, and you start going to high-end schools. Go ahead and get your doctor's degree. Study whatever the hell you want because you know that in 2024, there's going to be a president that's going to that's gonna pay it all off for you. And then you had the best experience of your life in your 20s, that's it. That should be the next Back to the Future movie. So here's what you do. You discover the DeLorean. You save up some money. 
Then you get into the DeLorean with a big old sack of money, and then you just go back in time, and then you start investing in shit. Make a time traveling movie where people take people get big opportunities from the past. Did you pay off your student debt? I did, and I worked very hard to do that. Did you know in 2024 the president's gonna pay it off for you? No. What do I get for paying off my loan? Nothing. Hey, man, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Somebody drop my credit card charges. I have a fine dining addiction. That's the great thing about Miami. We live in such a way that spending money is like our thing. Whenever I go out and I travel, there's the cities that have pride about certain things. But when you come back to Miami, the pride we have is that we can afford expensive shit or give the illusion that we can afford expensive shit. You go to Chicago. Have you tried Chicago deep dish pizza? Oh, it's the best slice you'll ever have. You go to New York. Have you tried New York style pizza? Oh, that's the best slice you've ever had. You come to Miami. Have you ever had brickle pizza? It's $20. It won't be the best slice you ever had, but at least you can afford $20. What's so special about it? It's $20. You're telling people you bought a $20 slice. I know, but does it have extra ingredients? Is there something special on it? No, 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 no. It's actually very mediocre pizza. But you bought it for $20. That's what makes our pizza special. That we're buying mediocre shit with inflated prices to tell people we paid that price. <laughs> Jay Chavi says, what about tolls? Every single road have a toll. Florida doesn't have a state tax because we pay it in tolls. We have way too many tolls. You're paying three tolls to go a few miles to the east. You're paying another three tolls to go back west. You go anywhere in Florida, you're paying a bunch of tolls, and sometimes they even sneak the toll charges on you. You think tolls are just $1.85 wherever you go? No, there's some tolls that when you get off, it's $12.60. You'd be like, where the hell did that come from? Oh, yeah, Mickey Mouse was aggregating all the way up. You getting off at Kissimmee? Bet. That's going to be $15.80. How the hell did I get charged? Hey, man, you got automatic payments set up on SunPass. That was your decision. You wanted to speed right through the tolls, and the convenience for that is $15. You wanted to see Mickey Mouse, right? Florida wants a piece of that. Oh, you don't want to take the Bright Line? You don't want to take the Greyhound? Tolls. During the summer, another great idea is you don't necessarily have to leave Florida. You can drive south. You can go to Key West and start hanging out with all the yacht people. Okay, Key West is a lovely place to hang out when it's really hot because there's ocean everywhere, lots of resorts. Key West is just one of those special areas in Florida where it's not fully understood yet. All we know is that there's a lot of people that have tans there. That's all we know about it and places to get drunk. It's very dilapidated. It's very old school. The, the tourist spots are like old and traditional, but people still go. Why? because it's an island off the coast of, the, of Florida. Those keys are amazing places to visit. So make sure you, go, you guys go out there, you get yourself a yacht charter, or you know somebody that owns a boat, and you go out there and you just get drunk in the ocean. You can't beat that. Go to Key West, get drunk, see how resilient your liver is. Understand that when you get drunk by the ocean, your tolerance for alcohol goes up substantially, okay? So put your liver to the test. Go to Key West. <laughs> hey, I just found out the new slogan for Key West. There you go. We're going to put that on a shirt. I think when Cuba gets liberated, uh, Cuba's going to be part of the Keys. <laughs> Once the communist era ends in Cuba, Florida's just going to claim it. And then there's going to be direct ferries from Cuba to Miami and throughout the Keys. <laughs> We're just gonna put a 90 mile bridge right over. Someone mentioned Naples. I'm not sure about Naples. The last time I went to Naples, I was performing at Naples. And I went to the beaches there. And it's a lot of old people in Naples. Very wealthy, but there's nothing to do. Hey, what do you wanna do tonight? Hey, let's go to uh, Bahama Breeze. Let's go to the Shuck Shack. And there's a comedy club there in Naples called Off the Hook. And before I performed there, I went to the beaches that morning and I was looking around. It was just so empty. There was nothing. A couple of old folks walking around. It was a beautiful beach, beautiful ocean. The sands were just empty. Maybe a few people suntanning. And I said, and I went up on stage and I go, you guys have beautiful beaches 
but you don't want to share it with no one. Like, you don't want to tell nobody how beautiful and spacious your beaches are. So what I got to do is I got to go back to Miami and I got to let my people know that there's lots of space here in Naples. And everybody in the audience goes, boo, boo. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to tell everybody about your little beaches. And we're going to start playing reggaeton really loud. And we're going to ruin your neighborhoods. And we're going to be jet skiing up and down next to your yachts like pirates. <laughs> and we're going to bang all your cougar wives. You don't bang them anyway. Let the Latinos do it for you. You probably like to watch. That's what I did. I went over to Naples. I started roasting everybody. It was fun. I haven't been booked since. But hey, yeah, I like Naples. It's just the people. They don't want you to know how great. They keep it a secret. They're talking to politicians to take it off the map. I've never seen one brochure about going to Naples for vacation. You know why? Because I know there's a committee of old people in Naples just tearing down those racks. We're going to sabotage your business. Old people protesting outside. <laughs> Stop telling people about our city. Sergio says, spring break 2025 in Naples. Hey, great idea. Why don't we do that? How about we no longer focus on spring break in Miami and we go to all the other beaches? It's a new era. Why not turn Naples into the new spring break place? You know what? Spring break should be a tour. Not a vacation destination. It should be a tour. That's what spring break should be. The spring break beach invasion. Where you don't know if it's going to be your beach. You pray to God that it's not your beach this year. <laughs> and we choose one random beach from all of Florida to invade. And all the party people show up. And they start twerking on cars and golf carts. And we just invade an entire beach area. No matter how old the demographics are, we're just going to show up. So Naples is going to get some. Key West is going to get some. Uh, West Palm Beach is going to get some. Boynton Beach. We're coming for you. And we're going to party. And we twerking. We're going to be smoking weed in front of your face. Uh, you know weed isn't legal in Florida yet. So what? That's what it should be. Thank you very much for tuning into the live stream. In case you don't know, I go live at random and record a little podcast for you. Support the podcast if you're watching this, okay? You were part of a live recording here. Go to MiamiComedy.com slash podcast. Subscribe. Just look at Miami Comedy Podcast and just hit the follow button. All right, there you go. Thank you very much.